uh, kind of a VLOOKUP and pivot. I think that is a bit important. So we will uh, also also start with that. Uh, like uh, we'll we'll try to uh, cover up that piece as well. So we'll try try to do something on uh, more on the on perspective of the uh, VLOOKUP and the lookups and also when we when we look into the pivot tables. So that are very important. So something we will be doing at our end. Uh, visual, can you hear me? Uh, visual, you there? Uh, cool. I think uh, once he can connect, I hope uh, we'll start with the session today, and uh, I'll start sharing my screen what we did in last time. And uh, just a quick recap of how we will be planning the other uh, sessions. Uh, uh, you know, the couple of more, like three to four classes. How we will be planning? What other things we will be doing? It's good to know uh, the kind of plan that we uh, that we will be doing. So I think uh, we'll start with what we did. So only a kind of a recap for you as well. That what are the things that we had? Uh, uh, what we were looking for? And uh, basically now. Uh, Couple of things. I think whatever we missed out, we will we will try to uh, try to do something more on that. So, a uh, couple of things on here. One was uh, the lookup functions. Uh, basically, if I share my screen, uh, so there will be a couple of things. So, I think I have not shared you. Uh, after the end of the class, I will be doing. So I will be uh, sharing some kind of in sessions that is basically the shortcut formulas. Shortcut formulas is uh, sorry, but uh, shortcuts is nothing but your you have a kind of a shortcut keys. So basically, while you do because you know it's not that that we always uh, use a mouse to control things. So whenever you get more proficient with the time, so it's always good as a good practice. We try to use some shortcut keys uh, in the keyboard, so which actually makes your job easier and you could actually save your time. So this is something that I'm going to share with you. So today, because yesterday I missed sharing that piece. So this is basically you, you, uh, don't, all the things are not required to do, but a couple of things will be interested because basically sorting, uh, then you're filtering the data, adding border or font, or inserting sheets uh, or font size. So a couple of things are there, so which are uh, important in terms of you don't need to uh, rely on your mouse, but you can you could directly use a keyboard shortcut. So. Often in the industry, those who get more of expertise and experience, so they are more on using the keyboard. Uh, so, if you actually use your mouse, so it has been uh, they see that okay, he may not be very proficient, or that is the perception it goes in the industry. So, those who are very smart enough in using the keyboard shortcuts, they think of oh, people have a perception around okay, they have an expertise in Excel. So that is how it it also adds value uh, to your competence. Uh, next, what we will be do, uh, what we did was a kind of a pivot. So today we are going to do some more on the pivoting part. We use some SAMI functions. So uh, initially, the, uh, the idea was using the SAMI and all those functions, uh, which really helps you in uh, getting a fair estimate. Like uh, because once you use the formula, and now when we use a pivot, there will be a lot of fear. In using a pivot, it's always easier for us because it uh, actually uh, makes your job more easier. You don't need to write a complex uh, formula, but all this is a good like you should uh, practice on the formulas as well. So both the things have to be practiced. So pivot is more of like um, sometimes if you have a very complicated data. So this particular piece is more on the uh, for, uh, more on the pivoting. So today we are going to learn more on the pivoting part of it. Yesterday have shown something. Today we will have more of practice. And at the same time, uh, we'll give some exercise uh, to understand the pivot, and then we're going to look into the VLOOKUP. So this will be the two key things. And next, I'm going to tell you that what are the things that, that are major things that we will be uh, targeting for the next couple of days to complete. So starting with the pivot, uh, let me see what I have here. This is an extensive formula, so we are going to use these formula pieces. And uh, also, I'll something. Sir, your screen is not coming. No, I have not. Sorry, I have not shared my. 
my bad Just I'm sharing my screen. No worries. Mm. Okay, I need to get access to become the president. Just give me a minute after call them. Okay. Sorry, it will be that I just you know forgot to share, uh, share my screen, so you miss it part. Uh, let me. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. So now let me know if you could see my screen. All good. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Yes, sir. yeah. So now these are the formulas I was actually referring. Uh, basically, these are the keyboard shortcuts. So this keyboard shortcuts is going to. Uh, be useful for you all to understand because uh, I think initially when I referred like you know in the industry is more of like practicing the shortcuts so not all but basically whenever we do filtering or sorting or any kind of a data formatting and uh, basically when you do you know pivot or all things they uh, all these things can be used using a keyboard shortcut so this exactly is something that I have uh, I forgot to share uh, yesterday today I'm going to do this part so that uh, these are the things that we should actually keep it in mind because more you, uh, I mean initially I know it will be difficult to practice but with the time try to whatever things you are trying to you are doing in the mouse click then try to use a keyboard shortcut. So with practice with things it gets uh, like you will be more comfortable in using the uh, keyboard. So this is something that I will be sharing initially what I said. Uh, the second part is on the pivot table. So basically uh, the first phase we are going to uh, understand more on the pivot tables, how does it work and uh, scenarios like we'll spend some time on the pivots and second on the video cup. So in the first yesterday's class we did some part of it. So today we are going to look for a few things and then we are going to have some kind of a practice exercise uh, to follow. Uh, so basically if I talk about a pivot, so how many of you did something on pivot like uh, how many of you did some pivoting previously? Anyone did something on pivot? Urmi, you did something on your pivot, right? I mean, in Excel and all bit. No, 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 never. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, and so I think let's start with what a pivot does. So basically, yesterday's class it was more of a, we sh we've seen something. But now I'm going to use this data. So what happens is like, uh, remember that when we were doing, uh, say we need to sum the sales by region or salesman. So if this data talks about monthly uh, data for a salesman. So with the number of customers, the net sales and the profit or loss, whatever it, it comes into the picture. So right, uh, this is a, a sales data typically or a monthly sales data for a salesman. So now if we need to understand uh, kind of and summarize the sales or the number of customers attended uh, by salesman right for a particular product. Uh, so if you see the data, this is a salesman, this is a region, this is a product and this is a number of customers with a net sales someone has got. So now if I try to add for the same salesman Joseph, 
whose region is this and basically uh, he have this kind of a products so now what if if i wanted to roll up the net sales by region and product so what we initially did was we have actually uh, copied this piece we have removed the duplicates and uh, say if i pasted the data over here it says values then we go data we go to remove duplicates and if we need to actually get the total sales we will use sum if function right so what exactly the sum function was we were actually uh, using some ifs so now what is the sum range we want to calculate the net sales the control shift down so i'm filling this plane criteria range one was your uh, what is the region this is the region so we have to do control shift here a four then what is the region uh, name not and then again we are going with the product so again we have to control shift down to select the entire range freeze it and hit with, hit with the your particular criteria so this is how we are going to do the sum if to calculate the net net sales right so this is something that we did earlier uh, now remember that this is something that is a quite a formula dependent right and what if we if we want to do add some kind of flexibility and we want to do the same operation without using any of the functions or something like that so to do that and to add you know to to actually to you can uh, really uh, you know this is kind of an also a dashboard so pivot can also be used as a dashboard so whichever way you can you want you can represent the same so the objective will be the objective will be like if I want uh, so next session we are going to practice so that the best part will be uh, we are going to uh, work on the pivot as well as we are going to look into the uh, how the same thing can be done over using the functions so these two things we should be uh, while you practice you know the both the versions so in case we need to use the formula how we can do it and in case if we need to do it by a, a pivot chart or a shortcut or uh, so how it goes so Basically, the one bad part of, of this is like once you get familiar with the pivot part, you're never going to use a formula. So that is also, I will not suggest right now because once you're starting learning the part of it, pivot is a very easy thing to pick up. Whereas formula is something people do uh, have a challenge uh, in getting. Uh, can you